Okay, there are a couple different ways to explain this. Three fourths, the number three fourths multiply by X equals six. What are we doing to X? We're multiplying X by three over four. And this is the same as multiplying by 0 0.75 because three over four equals 0 0.75, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what not to do. I think a lot of people would say the inverse of multiplying by three fourths would be divide by three fourths. However, if you did that, you're gonna end up with something that looks like this, six over three fourths. And that kind of answer is not going to communicate what we really mean. Six divided by three fourths can be kind of tricky to understand. Maybe it's easy for you, but it's not for most students. So here's what I want you to do instead. So what I'm gonna show you is the most straightforward way to get a question like this correct, where you need to divide by a fraction. What I want you to do is, instead of saying divide for the inverse here, even though you're not wrong, I want you to say it another way, which is multiply both sides by the reciprocal the flipped fraction three fourths. So multiply both sides by four over three. And let's show what happens when we do that. So if I multiply this side by four over three, and then I'm gonna multiply this side by four over three, if I'm multiplying a whole number by a fraction, then rewrite the whole number as a fraction with one in the denominator. Okay, so now watch this. On the left-hand side, the numerator, four times three is 12. In the denominator, three times four is 12. So you have 12 over 12 X. That's the same as one X. So that's x. What does that equal? We need to multiply fractions on the other side. So we have 6 times 4 in the numerator is 24. 1 times 3 in the denominator is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So it looks like x equal 8 is the answer. We need to check it. So again, rewrite your original equation with parentheses. Three over four times X, which is open parentheses, equals six. And now we need to sub substitute our X value, which is eight. Okay, so now let's see. Does three fourths multiplied by eight equal six? Three over four multiplied by eight equals six. If you're thinking about this as a fraction, this is like eight over one. So this is three times eight is 24 over four. Four times one is four equals six. 24 divided by four is six. Six equals six. And you've checked it. Nice job. We've gone over all of the different one step uh, equations that we could solve by using inverse operations. You should feel proud of yourself. This is really important and you did it.